think uh, five, six years ago, uh, while reading uh, Rurikus travel records of the expedition, George Rurikus book, I saw a picture of a old wooden house. Uh, and suddenly uh, an idea struck me that uh, there is a similar house in Ulaanbaatar. It seemed to me I have Ulaanbaatar. seen this house. And um, I was reading this book in the evening and just early morning I went before, my go before going to my office, I went to this house with the book with the book and with the picture of yeah. this house. And so I had started to work to save this house. And uh, I addressed, applied to the um, city government, asking and explaining that th this is a very historical house. It shouldn't be Nicholas Rurik, for he lived in the mid 1920s during his. Uh, month stay in Mongolia. It was part of his search for Shambhala and uh, his greater interest in sacred places around the world. He, many of his paintings were made here and uh, also a considerable amount of his writings. He lived here with his son George and also traveled with his wife. The house after he lived here uh, was used as a general residence and I think until something like three years ago a couple were living in a part of it. Unfortunately most of the wood on the uh, north side is degenerated probably from wind and sand. Here we are at the Nicholas Rurik house where Rurik lived 1926-1927 uh, with his wife Helena and son George and uh, busy trying to restore and rebuild it. Uh, here we have that George, our great project manager and <laughs> former director of the National Museum and designer of something like 150 museums across the country.
Sodan so means the Jiharagata, how to let up chilla, Sunny Murrumbuli was Melody Tink and Telly Tink by Nimi Gitigin. You retold the city, it did it, it is King of Gumbor, and Shingara did it with Koruan Toh and Zandan Shoemot Udo Shogum Hegat, Koroaljan Zote, Wor Halton, Toda Gitchin, Pondang Har Burgitin, Badin Namin Shodum, Badimigit Digitin, Yuriton Ulcite, it did it, it is he who gum board, and by the end of the game. Uh, quite a child when I was uh, five or six years old mm -hmm. I was given by my father uh, as a, a student uh, to the Gondan Monastery Gondan I Monastery. think I was when born in 1927 it means uh, in 1930 three, four, five, six, something like that. Yeah. And so it's so coincided in the one and the same year, 19, that's 1957. I came from Ulaanbaatar to Moscow to study, and George Rur also came back to Moscow. Uh, he was uh, permitted to come to Russia, to return to Russia. 
he came to Moscow just one month before my arrival to Moscow. <laughs> yeah, it was a happy fate, I would say. Very happy. Uh -huh. So for me, it's been a, a very exciting adventure to try to restore the Nicholas Rorick residence in Mongolia, also a great challenge. But I think uh, when you, when you uh, look over this video, you'll see we've got quite a bit done, thanks to Professor Bera and Ishtorj and Vedran and many different uh, peoples who contributed. I don't want to give the sense that the task is in any way complete. We've only been working on it for about a year and a half. So there's still much, much, much to do. And uh, around the world, various friends are helping with uh, aspects of the project. Uh, I think we have to come up with something like a budget of maybe twelve to $15,000 a year to keep it open and running. And I expect we will run at a loss for at least the first uh, three, four, five years before we can make it self-sufficient. So if you're a Rorik enthusiast and a Rorik fan, uh, please get involved in some way, uh, big or small. You can either contribute materially or you can always come to Mongolia, volunteer for a few weeks or months to help us with various aspects of the project. And otherwise, uh, just your good thoughts and good prayers floating up through the ether also will uh, have great effect and great impact. Thank you so much. Happy fate, I would say. Very happy period for me. <laughs>